Okay, so is 2023 or 2023 divisible by three? Let's get the answer to this question very quickly when we don't even need a calculator. This is going to be a pretty awesome little uh, topic that we're going to look at. But I'm posting this video on New Year's Day 2023. So I first want to extend uh, a nice Happy New Year's to all of you out there. And I also want to uh, say thank you to all of you out there that subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, well, what you're going to find here, first of all, thank you for checking in is a ton of math videos. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about myself, but if you like mathematics, if you're interested in mathematics, well, then check out all the videos on my channel. I have over a thousand videos on my channel. I've been posting videos for 10 plus years, and I will continue to post videos, and it's gonna be my goal in 2023 to try to make my videos even more interesting and more helpful. But uh, anyways, uh, before we get into this problem, okay, and this is not going to be that difficult and I think interesting if you don't even know, if you don't know where I'm going with, you're like, what is this guy going with? I'm not quite sure. Some of you probably have an idea where I'm going to be going uh, with in terms of how to answer this question. I'm going to show you the answer to this question. Uh, again, we don't want to use a calculator and we don't want to divide this by hand. All right. So what am I talking about? Well, I want to get to all that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And as I uh, said, I am truly passionate about mathematics and teaching math. And over all the years of teaching, I've learned basically that all students can be successful in mathematics, okay? And I'm especially speaking to those you out there that uh, struggle in math, okay? So if you struggle or if you fail in math, listen, it doesn't have to be that way. What you need is encouragement and more importantly, great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're in a current, uh, if you're currently taking mathematics in some sort of course, I can definitely help you out. If you're preparing for some sort of test uh, that has uh, math on it, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, or if you homeschool mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span all these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes uh, in the description of this video. So if you need a real, you know, like a pair of super detailed math notes, which we all do, hopefully you're taking your own math notes. But um, if you want to uh, use my math notes, you'll find the links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, again, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this New Year's Day um, a video. And if you're watching this on New Year's Day, January 1st, 2023, there's only one reason you're doing so is because you like mathematics. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into this because I'm pretty sure most people are probably either still sleeping or, you know, they're just doing something uh, more interesting with their time. But I find math interesting and hopefully you do as well. All right. So is 2023 divisible by three? You see the answer here is no. Now, it doesn't seem like a very difficult problem, and even if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can certainly get the answer without a calculator, but we want to talk about something very, very um, uh, helpful here, and I'll get to that in a second, but if you got this correct, well, let me give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and a few stars so you can have an extra special New Year's Day. Nice job. Okay, so let's get into this. And uh, we're talking about this word divisible, so it's probably a good idea to define that word. All right, so divisible, what does that mean? Well, it probably has something to do with division, right? So if you're thinking, eh, does it, are we talking about division? Yes, you would be correct. So divisible is basically, um, it's a property or characteristics that a number can be divided, okay, that we can divide a number, excuse me, we can divide a, uh, I can divide by a number without no remainder. I was trying to use like a little kind of uh, shorthand here, but basically it means that we can divide another uh, number by another number with no remainder, then um, that's what divisible means. But let me show you an example because the example is going to be clearer than my description of divisible. Examples are often more uh, just like the best way to learn things because you kind of see that word in action. So 10 is divisible by 5, all right? So what does that mean? Well, 10 is divisible by 5 because we can take 10 and divide it by 5. The answer, of course, is 2. 
but the remainder is zero, okay? So when we can divide a number and there is no remainder, then that situation is divisible. That number is divisible by that number, okay? So 10 is divisible by five because 10 divided by five is two and there is no remainder. When there is no remainder, okay, then the, the, that number is divisible by the other number. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer this question now. Is 2023 or 2023 divisible by three? Well, if the uh, basically the definition is, hey, if we can divide 2023 by three and have a remainder of zero, then it is. If it is, uh, if we have a remainder, then it is not. So you can see here, I did some basic old school arithmetic, and we do get an array, uh, a, a remainder. Okay, so we got a remainder of one. So that means, hey, there is a remainder. It's not a remainder of zero. Uh, so that tells me that, yes, in fact, 2023 is not divisible by three. So this is kind of the long way of doing this. Now, if you did uh, do this work right here, I'm going to still go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus because you were thinking, right? You're like, hey, you had a way to approach this problem and you understood uh, the uh, word divisible, okay? So... But the kind of topic to this video is there's a super easy way to get to this answer quickly, okay, without doing all this work, all right? Because imagine 2023, that's not, you know, that's a four-digit number. But what if I had a number like this? I'm just making something up here. What if I said this number, okay? right here is this divisible by three well you're not going to go like this that would take you too long and we definitely don't want to uh, you know volunteer for any uh, extra pain in terms of mathematics and we can't use our calculator right so what can we do let me go ahead and show you this right now okay so is 2023 20, divisible by three well we want to use divisibility rules okay divisibility rules so there's rules for numbers three is one of them there's other rules for two um and five there's some other other basic kind of uh, values here i'm only going to be speaking about three i have done other videos on divisibility rules so if you are interested in learning more about divisibility rules let me give you a couple two quick suggestions one i have additional youtube videos that cover all these other rules and i would point you towards my math foundations mini course okay it's a little three chapter mini course you can find it in the course in my math help program I cover all basic math, divisibility rules, all kinds of good stuff. But let's take a look at the divisibility rule for three. We have a rule to test uh, for divisibility for uh, three, and here it is, okay? The rule is a, um, a number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, okay? So again, a number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is, let's throw it is in there, is divisible by three. So let's go ahead and see this rule in action, okay? So let's take a number, or let's say two numbers that we know uh, is in fact divisible by three. So let's uh, start off with 33. So we know that three times 11 is 33, so, i.e. that uh, three is, 33 is divisible by three, because when we divide three into 33, we get 11 with no remainder, okay? So we know that. Uh, that's a pretty easy number that most of us are like, yeah, this three can go into 33 without any remainder. But let's look at the digits. The digits are three and three, okay? So the sum of the digits. So let's add up the sum of the, uh, let's figure out what the sum of the digits is. We've got to add up the digits. So three and three. So three plus three is six. So is six divisible by three? Now, this is something we should be able to just, you know, mentally do. Like, yes, yeah, six. Can we divide three into uh, six can six to be divided by three without a remainder? Of course, it's two, right? Three times two, uh, or uh, two is the answer. There is no remainder. So there you go, okay? So the sum of the digits right here, six um, is divisible by three. Therefore, this number is divisible by three. Let's take a look at another example, real basic examples here, just so you can get a feel for the rule. So is 18 divisible by three? Well, of course, right? So. If I take 18 and I divide by 3, we get 6 with no remainder. So 18 is divisible by 3, but let's add up the digits. We're just getting, again, a fill for this rule. So the digits here are 1 and 8. So we have 1 and 8. 
We're going to add those up. So we're going to find the sum of the digits. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Of course, right? Which uh, 9 uh, divided by 3 is 3. No remainder. That means it's divisible. So that's how the rule works. So let's go ahead and apply that rule right now to 2023. So is 2023 divisible by 3? Well, let's go ahead and add up the digits. So we have 2, 0, uh, 2, and 3. So 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 is 7, right? 2 and 2 is 4. 4 and 3 is 7. So now we just go ahead and test for divisibility. I mean, it's pretty uh, obvious Can if you say can um, 7 be divided by 3 with uh, no remainder? Well, no, right? So Because its answer is going to be um, 2, right, uh, with the remainder 1 could see here here's the work right so if we try to take seven divided by three we could put a two right there so three times two is six let's subtract one so hopefully you remember basic division if all this stuff if you're still rusty with this because you did this way back in 1970 or 1963 or something like that i actually have a lot of uh folks that watch my videos that you know are, are older which is awesome but maybe you you're learning this right now but again if you need a review for basic arithmetic you know, because we've been, you know, all of us use our calculator, so we probably forgot a lot of this stuff. You know, feel free to um, check out my uh, videos on my YouTube channel. I do some a lot of arithmetic uh, videos because it's important you understand arithmetic and um, you kind of brush off this cobwebs, especially these uh, skills, okay, without the aid of our calculator because you, you use these skills and use these understandings um, uh, for a lot of concepts in algebra. Now let's talk about, um, so this is how we get to the answer, okay? We just use the divisibility rule for 2023 and there you go. But the uh, divisibility rules come in super handy when you're reducing fractions. Let's take a fraction like this. Uh, let's say... Um, Let's say, obviously, right, let's suppose you didn't know that, well, let's do it this way, okay, 15 over 90, okay, and you wanted to reduce this fraction. You're thinking, okay, you're looking at 15, and you go, I know that 15 is 5 times 3, okay, that's what your brain's telling you, you know it's 5 times 3, so 15 is going to be divisible by 5 and 3, right, because when we have 15... If I divide it by 5, the answer is 3, remainder 0. And here, um, if I divide 15 by 3, the answer is 5, remainder 0. So uh, 15 is divisible by both 5 and 3. So what you want to do, basically, is look at factors of 15. Okay, so this is kind of a little bonus here. So we want to be thinking of 15 as a 5 times 3. Okay, now you're saying to yourself, wow, I wish I could get a 5 or 3 out of 90, all right? So now this number is pretty easy. So you want to be asking yourself, is 90 divi uh, divisible by 5 or 3? So here you can look at the sum of the digits. This is super easy. A lot of you can already see it, but 9 plus 0 is the sum of the digits of 90. That's 9, okay? Is 9 divisible by 3? Of course it is, all right? Um, so 90 is divisible by 3. That means 3 is a factor of uh, 90. Now, you could just break up 90 as 9 times 10, so you'd be, you know, well on your way. and be like, oh, I could break this down further. 9 uh, is 3 times 3, so 3 times 3 times 10 is the same thing as what? That is 5 times 2. So this is how you can kind of um, find uh, like factors or, you know, reduce fractions, fractions by using divisibility rules, right? They help you out a lot, especially if you don't have your calculator. So here's 15, which is 5 times 3. 90 is 9 times 10, but here's all the prime factors. Now we can cross-cancel like factors, and so we can definitely take this 5 out for this 5, and then we can take out 1, 3 for 1, 3, okay? You can't take 1, 3, can't cross-cancel 2, 3s, only uh, one for one. Okay, so you're left with this final answer, one over three times two, or one six. Okay, so knowing divisibility rules comes in very handy when you're dealing with fractions as well. So, uh, you know, especially when you don't have a calculator or you cannot use a calculator, which is uh, quite often, some of you out there that uh, are not in school, or maybe you are in school, I can tell you right now, if you continue on a lot of math classes, there'll be um, plenty of math teachers and math courses out there where a lot of your test will be part one with no calculator, part two with a calculator. Okay, so you still need to be able to uh, do 
uh, this work, you know, by hand. Right? That's why we want to revisit some of these basic uh, concepts. But anyways, we have plenty of time because 2023 is just getting started. So if you're interested in learning mathematics at any level, basically my level is middle school uh, all the way up to kind of college prep mathematics up to pre-calculus. But uh, if you're interested in that level of mathematics, well, hopefully you'll uh, subscribe and check in on my videos. And again, if you need additional help, you know where to go as well. Okay, so with that being said, again, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023. And I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures this year. Thank you for your time and have a great day.